hey what's up guys let's go ahead and get into episode nine of married to medicine so it starts out with a continuation of the argument with mariah and heavenly um mariah said that she wasn't taking a dig at heavenly at her mother's day party but she was i mean clearly she was so next dr contessa she's kind of discussing with her husband about miss renee and Contessa said that, you know, in the past they've kind of gotten into it, but never to this extent. And so she's kind of waiting to see how things go, if Renee's going to come back or, you know, what's going to happen. But in my opinion, Renee couldn't come back to my house. The way she acted was totally out of pocket. Now, Mariah sits down with Simone. They go to a restaurant. Simone says that, you know, basically Mariah, you know, you talk mess about all of us. And Mariah denied it. Um, but Simone wants Mariah and Heavenly to kind of move forward. You know, stop dwelling in the past. Move past everything and, and you know, kind of get back to being civil. Next, Jackie, Dr. Jackie, she's allowed Curtis to come back over to the house. So Curtis, he drives up in his 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 other little G ride, and he brings over food and a single rose. So this time Jackie's more inviting. She's smiling. She still doesn't want to go out in public with him, but she did tell him, okay, you know, you can come to the house. So he's at the house. He says that he is remorseful. He says that he hopes that there's light at the end of the tunnel for them, and he wants to get back with her. So. They get through eating and everything. Jackie basically tells him, hey, I got some charting to do. It's basically time for you to go. Okay. Now, moving on to Henrietta. Henrietta is back at Dr. Simone's office. She's one of the little women. And she's back for her first pap smear. And she's completely terrified. So, Dr. Simone uses this special speculum um, that's just used for little women. Um, so because their bodies is kind of disproportionate, it could cause, you know, issues in inserting the speculum. So she kind of calmed Henrietta down, took about a good two or three minutes, took the pap smear, all is well, seven to ten days, the results will come back. Now, Simone, she's still angry at Cecil for taking out $25,000 out of their bank account without her knowing and she said, you know, next time this can't happen. If you want money, you need to come to me and you need to talk to me and we can kind of figure it out. So see, so he's getting into this whole app thing, uh, which is called Kid Force. And so he's kind of wanting Dr. Simone to be a part of it since, you know, she basically funded it. So we're going back to Dr. Contessa. Her husband calls her at work and he said, you know, he's there to pick up their little girl, Layla, and that they got to figure this Renee thing out as soon as possible because he's a doctor, he has patients to see, and he's 15 minutes late. So Dr. Contessa, she starts crying and, and everything because her husband has told her that little Layla, she doesn't want to go home unless Dr. Contessa is there. So... We just don't know if Contessa is going to, you know, get Renee back. She's going to hire another nanny or if she's going to maybe quit her job. All right. So moving on to Toya. Her little freaky ass. Now she's at the house sprinkling rose petals on the bed, on the floor. You know, she's got these sex pillows all around. And so she meets her husband, Eugene, at the door with lingerie on and you know she's trying to seduce him and everything and his little goof ass he starts laughing and she's like why do you always laugh when I try to do this for you so he's just laughing and he's just like I don't know you're, you know he's just a bit goofy something you know so she leads him into the bedroom she got champagne whipped cream on deck you know Toya trying to seduce and, and, and be sexy and Eugene is just laying there you know, he's just laying in the bed like a chubby lump of coal. You know, talking about, well, I want to I wanna go take a bath. You know, let's go take a bath. And she was like, well, I've already taken a bath. But, you know, if there's any dirty areas, that's okay. You know, he's looking at her like, okay, uh, no. 
Anyway, so moving on. Moving on to Quad. Quad and Dr. Gregory. Now, they're having, we all know, they're having a lot of marital problems. Um, so, Quad is in the kitchen. She's cooking. Dr. Gregory comes in. Um, and they're having like this little marital focus group at their house. So a few couple, uh, couples um, come over and wish they're close friends with them. So, you know, they've been having marital problems as well. So they all come over as a big group. And Dr. Greg, um, he gets up from the focus group and he takes a phone call. So Quad is looking like, okay, this is the kind of mess I got to put up with. So Dr. Um, Dr. Greg comes back and Kwa said that she feels she feels like she's number two, you know, to his work. Dr. Gregory, Dr. Greg was like, "No, you're not. I love you. You're my priority." And she was just like, "No, you just got up and took a phone call when we're trying to get our marriage back strong." And so. Why was like, look, I don't feel safe. I don't feel wanted by you. Dr. Greg says he doesn't know what she's talking about. He also said that he's done more for quiet than any other woman because he's worked so hard in his life and he's fought so hard and everything that he has, he had to work hard for it. That's why he's always on her about money because he really doesn't want to give her any money. And quiet had to tell him, she was like, look, <laughs> I don't want you for your money. She's like, I want you for love. And she burst into tears. All the couples is looking at her. And then Greg comes over there and he's just like hugging her and like, I love you. And da -da -da -da. no, she made you look like a fool in front of everybody. That's why you all on her now. So, you know, they hug it out and everything. But look, guys, bottom line. Dr. Greg knows that he is, you know, unattractive. He's a square nerd and he's insecure. He's very insecure with his appearance. And he thinks, because everybody in Atlanta has said so, um, you know, that basically Quad is just with him for money. You know, how could he pull somebody like Quad? You know, and so this is the type of thinking that he has. So he treats her horribly, you know? And so, it just seems like to me, you know, their, their marriage definitely needs work. Because if you with somebody and you think that they're only with you for money, there is a definite issue. So, anyway, that's all I got, y'all. I'm out. Let me know what you think at the bottom.